Hey up everybody, welcome back to the Audi Cycling YouTube channel where today I'm going to be looking at the Bluge de Pain. In a bit of a different video, I'm going to be doing the Super Classico, the Classic Squad Game and also the Women's Race all in one just to try and keep things a bit shorter rather than doing three separate videos. So looking at the Super Classico, we've got Philipson as the most expensive rider, that makes a lot of sense really. I think he probably is the fastest sprinter right now, I think that he is a good choice, as is Fabio Jakobsen at 26, he's arguably the second, if also probably the first, like the fastest sprinter in the world. Caleb Ewan I would probably avoid, I just don't think he's been looking that great so far this season, and I just don't really think that he's quite working with his lead out as well. Arno Damar is still a good choice for finishing inside the top 10, but probably not the greatest. There are probably riders who are going to finish higher up, including Groenewegen, I reckon. Damar will probably finish top 10, but he'll struggle to get on the podium. Groenewegen, I think, could certainly finish top 5 and probably finish on the podium if things go his way. He's got a really strong lead out as well. You've got the Bora trio of Bennett Mayus and Danny Van Poppel. I think that they should be going in for Bennett here, but Mayus, whether he'll have his own chance as well, I'm not too sure. But I think that they're all probably, well, for better choices than Nizzolo. Just he hasn't started Milano San Remo for some reason. And I think that probably Bennett is your best uh, choice there as the designated leader for Bora Hansgrohe. 18 point riders, you've got Ackerman, who has looked pretty good in some of the recent races. But there is also Milano on their team, so it might go for, for both of them. Milano is usually a lead out man, but sometimes outperforms Ackerman, which is kind of wild. Coy is quite a good one. He's looked really strong, won that stage at Paranese ahead of Malier and Mas Pedersen and some other good sprinters, so Coy's quite a, a strong one. Gerben tayson has been looking really good recently too, but you have to remember that was up against probably not the strongest of sprint competitions, so whether he could, I think he'll come top 10, you know, probably finish on the podium will be quite a hard choice, quite a hard thing to do. I think that Coy is probably just a better sprinter all round. 16 point riders you've got Phil Bauhaus, Cavendish as well, I think that Bauhaus is quite a good one to finish top 10. Cav's just a bit of a strange one, he hasn't quite worked with his lead out so far this season, I'm not quite sure just things aren't going quite well there, didn't work out in Milano, Torino, I don't really see it changing too much here Consoni for Coffert is quite a good one I think that Gaviria is really good as well he came second at Milano, Torino got boxed in a bit in the finale so probably could have won that, he's looking really good this year I think that Kavira is probably a good one. Edward Turns will probably finish somewhere between 10th and 15th, I reckon. 14-point riders, we've got Piet Aligat. There's also a lot of expensive lead-up men like Mezgech, Jonathan Milan, Pasqualon, uh, Plankart, Max Walsh ride as well. He could be the sprinter for Kofidis, but we do also have Consoni and Aligat, as I said, so you don't really know which one we're going to be going with. It's probably a lot safer to go with Sam Wellsford, who's looked really strong recently. Really fast sprinter, probably better than Dainese, I reckon. So I think that Wellsford is a really good one. And actually you get from this point onwards in terms of value going down and it's quite hard to find people who are that good value for money. You've got guys like Case Bowl, Milano, who could be all right. Jason Tesson will be the sprinter for Total Energies. And then again, you've got a lot of lead out men like Dubois and Lars and Kellen O'Brien. Halverson will probably lead Uno X. Marlene Vandenberg will probably be the sprinter for EF. They'll watch out for him as well. 8-point riders or another sprinter for Cofidis in Chimelai, so you just have no idea who they're going to be sprinting for. The rest of the 8-point riders aren't really that great, to be honest with you, unless you think that Ethan Vernon might be the sprinter over Fabio Jakobsen for some reason. The 6-point riders are all really domestiques. There's only one which I really like the look of, which is a bingo rider, that is Matteo Malicelli. He did crash in Milano Torino, but not badly, so I think he'll be fine. Probably the best 6-point designated sprinter that you have. And then Outside of him, you just got a lot of lead out men for, you know, Philipson and, and Jakobsen and stuff. So if you wanted assist points on those guys, then probably pick these ones. Gleb Silitz, uh, uh, Silitz uh, could be the sprinter for Astana, but I think he'll be leading out Cav. But if Cav is out of position, Gleb might have his own chances, to be honest. Leonard Tamano has also been getting some decent results despite being a lead out man, so maybe he might do the same there. And then in terms of the four point guys, you've got, you know, just just looking for assist points really you've got uh guys for dsm for for wellsford you've got guys for lotto for caleb ewan then there's also felix gross for ackerman there's also piffy for damar ivan romeo for gaviria cameron scott for phil bauhaus but i think campbell stewart for Groenewegen seems to make the most sense. I think that Groenewegen's probably of all those guys who I've just talked about, probably the best 
either him or like Gaviria, I reckon would be the best ones to go with. So this is the team that I have at the moment. Um, you could change a few things around. So if, say, if you wanted to get Jakobsen on your team, you could pick uh, Malicelli, like I said, and then put those points into Wellsford and get Jakobsen on a bit like that. I think that would be the other alternative team that I'd be going with. And that's really what I'm thinking in terms of the Super Classico. But moving on to the Classic Squad game now. So in terms of the Classic Squad game, I made a couple, I made a few changes. I've put in Philipson, Jakobsen and Olav Koy into my team. So you can see my, my team value is not at 100 right now. And I think this is a pretty smart move at the moment. I'm keeping Van der Poel in and Pedersen for E3 that's coming up. And I think that Phillips and Jackson and Coy are just pretty good options for this race. I think it's worthwhile putting your, uh, quite a few transfers into Bruce Japan just because you know it's going to be a certain sprint. So therefore it's quite a, an open goal and like certified points you're going to get. It's just uh, an easy, it's just easier to kind of predict points and get them here as opposed to trying to predict what's going to happen in like Dwarves, Dors, Vlandrin or something which is a little bit more chaotic. Sprints are just kind of like easy easy to kind of get your head around and also you have to take into consideration that these guys are probably going to take part in Gent Velvelgum so perhaps you might want to keep on a, a Phillips and, and an Olive Koi for example for for Gent Velvelgum because they could compete in that race as well I say maybe you know Koi is an interesting one maybe for Gent Velvelgum because he might get dropped but you have to consider that he's also on the team of Christoph Laporte and Wout van Aert so therefore he could get assist points there as well so and Phillips is climbing really well as well which means that even if like Van der Poel doesn't win, then he could certainly do a good in a sprint at Gent Velvelgum. And I think that's a pretty safe choice to keep those guys on to Gent Velvelgum. And then swap them off for Dwarz Doors and then Flanders. Uh, Jakobsen I'll, I might take off t and put it back onto like a Pogaccia for, for E3. That's kind of my thinking right now. And then moving on to the women's Bruce Pan. So in the women's race, this is my team that I'm going to be going with. It's got probably some of the fastest sprinters in the women's peloton, but just going through a couple of the riders quickly to kind of give my reasoning. Balsamo and Vibers, I think everybody will be picking, uh, to be honest with you, just because they are the fastest. Emma Norsgaard, I'm not actually sure if she's taking part, so just be sure to double check that before you put that onto your team. I don't think she was on PCS's uh, start list, so just bear that in mind. Bastian Ellie is probably going to be the sprinter for UAE, but they do also have Consoni. However, so far this year, they do seem to be sprinting for Bastianelli, so it's probably safer to go with her. Lucinda Brand will be a lead-out uh, purse, will be a lead-out man. Can you say a lead-out man if it's a women's race? Lead-out lady? She'll be she'll be the lead-out, basically. Pfeiffer Georgia will be a lead-out as well. Charlotte Cool is the only one who could really take it to Vibas during the UE tour, so that's why I'm really picking her. Ba uh, Barbieri will be the sprinter for Live Racing. She's quite fast. So is uh, Clara Caponi the kind of French track rider. She's really good. Um, so she'll be the sprinter for FDJ. You've got quite a lot of the SD Works riders who be very expensive assist points, so I probably wouldn't recommend that. Uh, Canyon Shram, they have Bustroitz, but they also have Sarah Roy and Vanderdown. And Vanderdown's like six credits, and I think that she's done well in a couple of sprints so far this year, so I'd probably be favouring her. And then outside of them, you've also got Gasparini and Guarishi. You know, these guys, are, they're fast, but you know, they've got other riders in their team who will probably be the favourite sprinter. There's Alice Barnes and Georgia Baker. I think they'll be sprinting for their respective teams. And then outside of them, I think I'm picking Fidanza just because she was on, I think she finished, she won the, the Classic Almeria, the women's edition this year, ahead of some pretty stiff competition. So I'm really liking uh, her chances. I think she will be the designated sprinter for her team. So that's kind of why I'm picking her. There are some other ones which you could pick. Um, Televisi sprinted in the past as well, you so you could pick quite a few of them. In terms of six point riders, there's Didi Rickson, who used to be a uh, world champion, so you could go with her. Uh, Gonzalez is a pretty fast sprinter if Norsgaard isn't taking part, so just bear that in mind. Or uh, Gutierrez is also quite fast as well, so you could go for either of those uh, if you wanted to. Um, but I think you could. Uh, Paternoster actually is quite fast as well for Jaco, um, that's another good six point rider for you to be picking. Um, uh, but I do think I like uh, Van der Down as my favourite six-point rider. It's just almost like a nailed-on one. She did really well in a lot of sprints last year, and I think that just uh, probably the best one you can go with. And then four-point riders, again, you're looking at assist points largely, but I think the best one is uh, Hentala. She's got top tens in multiple sprints so far this year, and as a four-point rider, it's an absolute no-brainer. Like, you have to put her on. If you, if you need a four-point rider, you have to put her on. Like, don't even think about going with anybody else please 
So this is the team that I'm going with. I think I'm expecting quite a lot of people to pick these kind of top four of Bastianelli, Balsamo, Vibas and Cool, but then you could go with an eight and a four and a six or a six and a six based upon the riders that I selected. So let me know what you think in the comments down below of the Bruges de Pain. Uh, what kind of teams are you thinking of going with across the board? What transfers are you going to put in? Let Put it all down in that comment section. And then all that is left to say is to stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Salut! Yeah.